What is up investors, Jason here. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the company that was previously called Facebook, and that is Meta, ticker symbol FB. Now, Meta just released their earnings, and it was a bit of a miss. Uh, they spent a little bit extra money on the whole Metaverse expansion. In 2021, they spent $10 billion on the Metaverse, which this has really changed things as far as their earnings that just came out. Well, it was a lot less than what people had expected. And we're definitely seeing that in their stock price currently and after hours trading. At the time of making this video, we're seeing made a stock down more than 20%. That is a pretty big drop. And of course, this is this could be something that could potentially be driving down a lot of the stock market even more due to this news that has come out. Even though we had seen some really big news in the tech space as far as Apple's earnings and, and we got some pretty good reports with Google's earnings as well. But Facebook is probably going to really hurt things, especially because of the size of this company. So as we get to it, my name is Jason and I talk about stocks and cryptocurrencies on this channel, mostly tech-based stocks and usually larger market cap cryptocurrencies. So as we get to it, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or gently press that like button because it helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and helps spread these videos to more people that might find it interesting. Now let's get to it. So this is the, uh, the the after hours here where we're seeing Facebook stock close at $323, but currently in after hours, it's at $250. So big difference there. And uh, this is all coming after the Q4 earnings miss. So Meta Platforms Q4 earnings, Meta Platforms missed estimated earnings by 4.43%, reporting an earnings per share of $3.67 versus an estimate of $3.84. Revenue was up $5.6 billion. Now, a lot of what we're seeing is just a little bit of a slowdown because when we're looking over at the earnings per share in the past few quarters, the numbers were always better um, based off of what was actually reported compared to what the estimates were. The estimates were always a bit lower than what was actually reported. So that was looking really good for Facebook, and we really saw the stock grow a lot because of that. And really what's kind of going on, even though things weren't that much lower than the estimate, it still is a bit of a shock when we had so many good quarters that were better than expected. But then again, a lot of their earnings that were coming out in these past few quarters were based off of what was being reported during the pandemic. And of course, that you're going to see a bit of a slowdown as more people are going back to work and there's less people that are just hanging out online all day because they have nothing else to do. So um, you, you would see a bit of a slowdown, but still, I mean, I would say the numbers are amazing. They just really shot for really high expectations, I would say, that the analysts did. Now, then again, Meta did spend $10 billion on the Metaverse in 2021, which dragged down their profits. Now, we expected them to go real heavy into investing in the Metaverse. They're doing a completely different switch up in their company. They're trying to focus on something different than what they were. They're not just being about the the social media that they had always been of generating revenues that way, they're focusing more on their products like Oculus and and trying to focus on expanding the, the Web3 that direction. Now this Web3, this next generation internet, uh, Mark Zuckerberg said that the Reality Labs division, which makes up virtual reality goggles, smart glasses, and other yet to be released products, lost more than $10 million in 2021 as it built the business. Those products are key to Mr. Zuckerberg's vision of the metaverse. Now, previously, the virtual reality headsets, the Oculus, was just a very small part of their business. Hardware really didn't really have a whole lot to do with Meta's business. It was, you know, just primarily always just social media networking as well as advertising from the social media networking. That was just their big revenue portions of their business. And nothing really ever really moved much as far as the hardware side. But now this is the part where Mark Zuckerberg says that this hardware is now a big part of the business. Now, investing $10 billion into the metaverse is more than five times the amount of money that Facebook paid to purchase the Oculus VR business in 2014 and 10 times more than what they paid to acquire Instagram in 2012. Now, Meta really has to make some big moves here in the Metaverse to be ahead of everybody else because the Oculus system is great, but they really need to expand on that because we are seeing more and more competition within this space. And if Facebook does want to control this space, uh, they need to be sure that they're spending a lot of money on it. Now, we're seeing large amounts of money being put into gaming by large tech companies. Now, Microsoft just recently announced that they were going to be acquiring 
Activision Blizzard for $70 billion. They said this back in January, uh, just real recently. We also had Sony announced that they were buying Bungie, which is the uh, a really popular gaming company, and they were still going to allow the games over on uh, Xbox as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see how things do play out here. But this market, this gaming market, the metaverse, the crypto space, all this stuff is becoming intertwined a lot, and it's going to keep building on and expanding and being much bigger. And there is just such a large interest interest in the virtual reality, as of course, face uh, Facebook's real dominant in this space was with the Oculus, and the price of Oculus is very cheap. Uh, incomparable what you can find with uh, what PlayStation has to offer and such. But but Sony is making some really big moves with the PlayStation and expanding on that. And so is Microsoft, and especially with Microsoft's Game Pass and such that they have. Uh, we're just seeing a really big growing social networking area of, of gaming here that is going to continue to expand. And we know that Google is making some really big moves over into the metaverse as well. And so the market is just going to be more and more competitive as we're, as we're seeing these large tech companies jumping in on it. And then we're seeing more developers that are making games with cryptocurrencies attached to them. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what does all play out here. So anyways, I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, if you don't mind, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video coming very soon. Thanks for watching.